Get in game shit. Let me warm up here. Look at this. Ah. I believe in you. Massage those muscles. Oh, so sick. I have one positive out of this whole shit or show that's going <laughs> to We didn't make it 30 A seconds. A new record. We didn't even <laughs> make it 30 seconds. I was going to, uh, well, I mean, I was going to say we might last longer than CNN Plus, but I don't know if that's even going to be a thing these days. <laughs> Oops. We literally did not even make it half a minute. Welcome to Clickbait Sports, everyone. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and the best uh, part is, off camera, Scooter was talking about how he might not be able to be here next week. <laughs> and Five's like, we're just going to drop S-bombs on it. And literally 30 seconds in, Tree's like, who needs to wait for next week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, I'm born ready, man. I just don't go like over that line. I defecate on that line. So. Wow. Yeah, now he's using welcome. synonyms. All welcome, right, everyone. yes. Yes, welcome to the show. And well, the funny part is, is we agreed that I would take the lead off and Tree just starts spouting <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> you out of I just mouth. wanted to make one quip. <laughs> one quip. That's uh -huh. all I ask. It was a CNN plus joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He all went all hard. It was a GI CNN. Jane joke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All oh, right, snap. here we are, Thursday, February, February, Thursday, <laughs> April 21st. We're dead. Seven days. Somebody We're off to a great us. start, by the way. Seven uh, days before our favorite okay. day of the year, the <gasps> NFL draft, where all hopes go to die. There's my punishment. And today, we, the clickbait crew, Tom Grassi, Brandon Perna, Urinating oh, Tree, Scooter Magruder. Mm -hmm. We are doing a mock draft, an actual serious mock draft where we try to pretend like we know a thing or two about football. Last week, we did the most trollingest draft ever. This week, we're going to do the worst serious draft. Well, Oh, wait. Brandon, you do have a punishment to make right. Yep. And, and also, you we are still waiting for the eagle up. to come. So there is, I will be going around downtown Orlando asking people to say, fly, eagles fly for my punishment. Relax. It's on the way. And I'm scared and sad. Uh, yes. We. I wish this was during the season and we knew you were going to a Cowboys game and oh. you were doing that outside oh, of dude. Jerry World. Now that. Oh. I've, that's I've seen people get. I've seen people get glares in Redskins gear and you know oh, Giants bet. gear, and it's just like not looking like that. Like, yeah. Well, anyways, well, back to your it, punishment, it, Brandon Perna. What did okay, you? Okay, so I had to do a, a combine. Uh, it took a while to get some of the combine stuff together, and like the last punishment, oh, I believe the audience needs to suffer, and uh, I make the videos as long as humanly possible. We all suffer. Welcome to the Clickbait Sports Punishment and what I'm calling the Dad Combine. I'm gonna run a 40. I'm gonna try to kick a field goal. I'm gonna measure my vert right now, which is very complicated. Uh, I got a three cone pickup. It's a real smorgasbord of bullshit. To do the vert, we've measured where my hand reaches to, because I couldn't get one of those stupid thingies that you do it. I'm gonna mark it with some jelly. If you have a baby, you know they put their hands all over everything on the walls anyway, so who gives a This shall mark how high I can jump. Mm. Look at that jelly vert, baby. Why, why are we paying you 100 grand a year? Oh, oh I got higher. You did get higher. I got higher. So the three cone drill, I'm going to do the bucket of toys pickup. My daughter's favorite game is to just dump her toys all over the floor. Go! Ah. 
Stop time. Stop time. Beat that, Chris Olave. <laughs> Something's happening to the front of my pants. I've got a vertical of 21 and a quarter inches. That's not good. That's very middle-aged white dad vert. <laughs> I'm 508! 553. Five, 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 oh, five, you guys three. are mean! 534. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was. I f***ed up! 508! <laughs> uh, I respect eight. that. I well, respect that. Respect I think the that. official time is 5.14. So, everybody was hand clocking it. There's some disparities. There's 5.08 to 5.24. Mm. I was like, how do I get this official? So I'm editing the video together and I was trying to do the, the stopwatch with my phone. And then I was like, you idiot. You can literally measure it by frame in your timeline. <laughs> so I got exactly when I started moving to exactly when I crossed the line. I think it's 514. Okay, not that's not bad. You are not at bad. about an average line back, average lineman speed. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe yeah, below average pounds. lineman speed, but yeah. I like. I think it. I can get under five. It's all about that start. Like you it can really train is. that start. And what's his name? I Eisen has never run a sub five. Exactly. Yeah, I think so, you're like. Oh, I'm I a good second got it. faster than Rich Eisen. For yeah, sure. you are. You're fast. Can we get I, some I W's? Think I would run a ten second um 40 and the second half would be me crying <laughs> i was uh, i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty embarrassed embarrassed about my uh vertical jump oh dude you think you're weird. embarrassed by my vertical <laughs> jump dude you do at least double mine <laughs> we need to so, eventually have a quick I, combine. you gotta you gotta let me tell this story so we were out in dallas oh, for my, let me let me get ready for this story sent us out there oh, and they did us they oh, made man. us do combine drills and uh tree did the vertical jump and he jumped and didn't even hit the bottom. It was like <laughs> I, I, I like I cannot he, jump. He jumped. Like, have you ever swiped. seen the movie White Men Can't Jump? Multiply that by about a hundred. You have me. Like I have one gravity pull, and it's just like straight to the ground. Like it's like this. This is probably about how big I can jump. <laughs> like I, I'm not even kidding. Like it's <laughs> Christopher, bad. It's Christopher bad. London was there, and he did like a 41 inch <laughs> vertical leap. Like no, Christopher. Insane. Yeah. He's first of all, he's 6'11, and then yeah, he went tall. and jumped like I think it was like 38, 39 inches. I was oh like, Oh my god, he was an old basketball player. player so why yeah, yeah, why yeah, is yeah. this the funniest yeah, episode yeah. already? All right, are we ready to get to the NFL mock draft? Let's get these picks on the board. Chat, help us. Let us know when we get to your team who you think we should be selecting in this mock draft, and we'll just go what the heck, pick by pick. The Jaguars when they see Perna. <laughs> <laughs> Come get it, Jacksonville. They so, uh, no one just want to know if you can catch a, a football. Mm -hmm. Listen, 2023 oh, clickbait combine. <laughs> Would y'all attend the 2022 clickbait combine? Type one for yes, two for no, and three if you're just here so you won't get fined. We're just uh, uh, we we can do something like this for real. Here, so. don't, See, I don't don't think I, I don't think there is a single event in the combine that I would win out of this group. I I, I mean, dude, I'd lose all of them. You know, like the I might win maybe the beer drinking contest or the uh, or the sweating we contest. Do, we really could do a combine. Let us know. We we'll put something together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tree do a thing, combine. Huh? Yeah, uh, tree um, thing. I guess it's my turn. Okay. All right. Are we, are we doing this where like each of us pick? Um, or are we trying to get consensus for each one? I think we do Let's, consensus. Is yes. This is a consensual draft. Consensual what, yes. draft. Is, do we have consent? Okay. Yeah. Jaguars. The majority, like in your the majority. Here we go. Pick number one. Jaguars are on the yeah. clock. Chat. Who are we going with for the Jaguars? Smoke Monday. <laughs> Smoke Monday. I did that. Smoke yes. Tuesday. It was, yesterday Smoke it was four twenty. Smoke Wednesday. Smoke Thursday. Smoke Friday. They got to have seven kids to get the whole weekend. And then they got to okay. start with months. Well, just borrow some uh, of Travis Henry's kids. Man, if four twenty was on a Monday, Smoke Monday could have made the greatest tweet of all time. <sighs> Are we saying yeah, it was Aiden Hutchinson? See, I got it. Thing? Yeah. 
it's that's I think the, the Jags are going to go offensive line. But I'd say that's... Hutchinson or Neal. Those would be my two picks. Okay. I got to go Aiden Hutchinson as well. I'm going Aiden Hutchinson. Two for Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson. No, oh, you sons of guns. Aiden Hutchinson. Pick number one. Stupid. Off the clock, off the board. Very Jags. Lions person. are now on the clock. If you're joining this mock draft, Lions are on the clock. Who should the Lions select? Let us know. They're so not. I I am going to uh, cloud this. I don't know, Tom. You said you hung out with Brett Coleman the I other did. day, or you you met him and you filmed an episode. Brett is very high and very Three strong about Malik Willis going number two. Really? To that's what I would have said. Detroit Lions, and that's what a lot of people are saying. So I'm gonna. That's my vote. Is that really Malik Willis I, gets grabbed I mean, at number two? Oh yeah, I. I said somebody was going to trade up on uh, Dumpster Fire. We do a Tuesday nights. I was doing. Um, I was suggesting that somebody trades up to number one to pick Malik Willis to try and one up Detroit. Ooh, interesting. You know what? That might actually happen. Tree. I would love if that happened. Uh, like, and, and just watch it be Carolina. I mean, that that's, might actually happen. Who because... else would it be? The Seattle? Like that's that's the only other team right. I could think that would maybe uh, do. See, it. I don't know if Seattle's going to pick Washington. Maybe unless they want to throw the farm. Oh yeah, trade up Washington, trade up. Yeah, do it. Pittsburgh do doesn't it have the Washington. capital, otherwise. They well, do. Yeah. even the yeah, Panthers, it's... they have af after their first pick, they don't pick forever in this draft. Like they can yeah. offer a first next year. I'm with that. I like Tree's theory. I think Malik might be gone at two, so I'll throw. I'll put one for Malik. My theory was one. Uh, yeah, my theory well, was that the Lions just because it, it and, seems and this, like and this timeline. It and just seems like if they're going to get a guy that they say is as raw as Malik Willis, like let him sit behind Jared Goff. Goff's mm. uh, contract is going to expire in, in, you know, in due time, and Malik Willis will be ready to take over, and they can just kick Jared Goff. I've also hurt. seen several articles, too, about what Tree is saying, how the best thing the Jags can do at one is to trade back. So I do think that – the Jags might actually end up trading Wade number one, but in this timeline, if the Jags take Aiden Hutchinson one, I I do think I'm with Tree Malik Willis at two. Mm -hmm. hmm. Tom, who are we going for with you? I'm either going Tibbs or whatever. The whole chat is blown up for Walker, but they just came out today. Someone from the Lions said that they want a playmaker, whether that's going to be like a QB or whatever. They just want like to be like a, eventually a superstar. So I'm I'm going to go with Tibbs just because I just I don't. I don't. I don't think it's the right move to go QB. But okay, that's just me. Two for uh, Willis. One for Thibodeau. Five. I said Willis. So okay. So yeah, Willis I say I. I'm gonna say Willis for this. What I think the uh, Lions will do is probably <sighs> Thibodeau. But I think they can grab a QB at pick 32, um, like Desmond Ritter. But we'll take Willis here make this interesting that's what we call a okay. domino ladies and gentlemen a domino has fallen in this mock draft everything is going off the rails and we're only <laughs> at pick three the texans it's a very who, wild draft in real life think about it, are most no likely consensus. to make this entire draft go off the rails yes uh chat what are we thinking for pick number three leave comments let us know who should the texans be picking they need everyone at every position. Yeah, every position. Yeah, pretty much Google everyone. I think, I think they, they go Neil. Down. Yeah, they'd be stupid to not take Evan Neal here. I think they go yeah. Neil or just because of the affiliation, they go with Charlie mm -hmm. Cross. Charles Cross. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because, you know, Jack Easterby likes the name. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have two strong what, tackles. What do we know about Evan Neal's background, though? What do we know about mm -hmm. his, you know, his faith? If he's, you know, if he's a God fearing, um, mm. good old boy from from down south, I think Jack Easterby jumps all over him. You know, I mean, he did. He went to Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, you know, I'm I mean, from unless Alabama, they get so. scared of Bill O'Brien's influence and don't draft him. I if, if I have if you put a gun to my head, I would say they would take Evan Neal. They'd be stupid to take him not not to take him at three. I'm so getting I'm gonna a lot say, of uh, you know. Tibbs, Kayvon Thibodeau. They they could go Tibbs, but I think they need they need offensive line help. 
like badly. Yeah, it doesn't matter who their QB is if they can't keep him upright. So See, I'll go. They, they also have no run game. So I that's think... what I'm saying. Like the run game. That's why people were saying about Debo Samuel going to Houston. I think that would be the war- like it makes no sense because they are slap dad in the middle of a rebuild. They don't know if they have a quarterback. They have no run game whatsoever. Brandon Cooks is their only wide receiver and they have no offensive line. Like he would go back yeah. there and die. And he doesn't even want to run anyway. So, like, I think here you just you got to build in the trenches. It's super boring picks, but I mean, eventually for your team to potentially be good, you got to build the trenches. Yeah. What I what I see here, like, okay, if Aiden Hutchinson's off the board, and let's just say everybody assumes he's the top edge rusher, the Texans at three are going to take the best player available at the other position, right? So that's mm-hmm. tackle. So. It's whoever they think the best tackle is here. I don't think they're going to go for the number two edge rusher when they're picking again at 13 and they can still get a pretty good edge rusher. Um, so I, think we I vote in. Neil. Who else votes Neil? I think I we lock Neil. Neil in. Okay. Neil That's lock. four out of five. Yeah. Neil. Lock the in Neil. The Jets. How do the Jets? Jets. Ooh. How do they mess this up? I think they go corner. I think they either go Stimley or Gardner. Wow. I wouldn't doubt wow. that. It yeah, is that possible. sounds like a jet move. It is possible. <clears throat> I think Sauce Gardner is the Give best. Give sauce. Yeah, I think they Give want the sauce. Give me all the sauce. Give them the sauce. Give them the sauce. The jets Give them the the sauce. They want the gabagool. They got it. Can we talk about real quick before we pick the Giants how Kadarius Tony still hasn't shown up and doesn't have the playbook? Can we can we talk about that for a hot second? Like, <laughs> I, 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 Yeah, let's talk about this. Hasn't shown up, but like, Kadarius Tony, you know, guy who hasn't caught a single touchdown, didn't show up for voluntary. Like, I feel like, I feel like that's something you need to do with your new head coach, and you don't have the playbook. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of wide receivers have been doing that, though. I feel if like- you think about it, there's been a domino effect, and it all started when Trent Bulky threw eighteen million dollars a year. But, at Christian Kadarius Kirk, Tony, and it has destroyed the dichotomy of every Kadarius single. Kadarius Tony and I have the same number of NFL touchdowns. I feel like he should have the playbook. I feel like that's when you stop in and be like, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, maybe I should get that. Just, I feel just like it. this is what's happening with Kadarius Tony. For those unaware, Kadarius Tony, wide receiver for the New York Giants, went to Florida for four years. Go Gators. Kadarius Tony is seeing what is happening with Debo Samuel, and he's saying, I don't want that to be my future. I think I can anticipate some nonsense like this occurring. So let me let me let me make some noise right now and try and get out of New York right now before I become a Debo Samuel. I'm just saying that's my that's my theory. There's nothing to support this. I just think that. We can continue. That's a that's a bold move in your second year and you have no touchdowns to be like, yeah, I'm gonna get traded. <laughs> I, if I were him, I would want to do the same thing. I'd want to get out immediately by any means possible. Why would I want to be on the New York Giants team? Trade him. By the, the way, up, Steelers for a up next, pick. the Giants. I feel like y'all would take Thibodeau if he's there. Is that true or false? Five. Yeah, Tibbs or Walker. So to me, like, look, this team has been bad offensively. This team has been bad defensively. This team has a terrible secondary now. I mean, we don't even know what's happening with Bradbury or what. Uh, but I, I think if Ek- Ekwanu is there, you cannot pass on him to have Andrew Thomas and Ekwanu on the same offensive line when there's been just really bad line play forever. Mm. You know, the re- there was a reason why they ran a sneak on third and nine on their own too, because – they didn't feel confident that the line could hold up to block for. So with pass. Thibodeau on the board, available yes. to pick. This is a tank. this is a hot, tough call because I personally want Thibodeau. Like I I want him bad, but you just can't pass on Equanu. So I if I'm the Giants, I take Equanu right here because he's such. You could you could get Karloff this at seven. You could you could even you know draft a DB next at seven based on what's on this board, but. Yeah. Uh, I, I think there's no way that you just let Equanu go by. Would your goal and, then be to get Equanu at five, Thibodeau at seven? Would that be the idea? That would be the most. I like it. If that happens, I might cover myself in motor oil and um, just run around the neighborhood a I few mean, laps. That makes just sense. A few though, laps because the with Panthers a could get a QB. I mean, like you are in a great position because you could get mm-hmm. two premium guys on both sides of the ball. Yes. 
And yeah, it doesn't so, matter if you do because your organization somehow will end up messing it up and like a Kadarius Tony situation. Uh, that, so, that's a given. That's a given. But, you know, I, I'm going to say Equano here and then we'll see what happens at seven. I'm with you. I'm with five. Okay. Icky it is. Yep. Stickiest of the icky. Stickiest of the ickyums. Carolina, I think they go Kenny Pickett or Macaron. Yeah, because they said Carson they're committed Stop. to uh, Sam Darnold, which means they're drafting a QB. Mm -hmm. Immediately put a QB. Mm -hmm. as, as soon as I heard that, I knew they're taking a QB. Yeah, that's like the vote of confidence when they're like, look, we're not firing this coach. And they're like, uh, can we bring security in to yeah. help escort this man out of the building? My that's how – my Go favorite ahead. part was Ben McAdoo, the old coach of the Giants, had come out and declared Sam Donald to be a starter. And then a week later, I said, what, what? I never said that. Are you crazy? I never said <laughs> hey, that hey. Sam Donald was a starter. He's like, no, he instantly had to back himself up. And yeah, because like, everyone uh, knew it's like, wait, what? <laughs> who do we think the second QB will be off the board? Ooh, I'm going to say ticket to picket. See, because it's interesting. Because it's like, I don't a lot of people are saying Sam Howell's the most NFL ready right now, right? He's more of like a Baker Mayfield type. I don't know if like that's going to pan out though. He his stock really fell. He went from potential Local number boy. one to second. Mm -hmm. And then Desmond Ritter's very interesting because this man's over yeah. here running a four five. A four. Yeah, five? but he he has like endless fumbles though. So and he's going to be a Daniel Jones concerns. Guy. Um, Kenny Pickett low ceiling. Matt no, don't talk. Don't talk about Kenny Pickett like that. Kenny Pickett <laughs> is the real deal. He led Pitt to the promised land, and by God, he is going to get a gold jacket. Actually, Listen. I don't know about if he's going to get a gold jacket, but he was. We can cool. hope. We can hope. Matt Corral, Florida bias. commit, transferred to Mississippi, coming off an injury, uh, higher ceiling, higher ceiling, but. I don't know. Wait, wait. What, who do you guys know, think I is going to be the second QB? I know who's going to be the quarterback picked. Sky Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a scenario that if 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 Willis is off the board, I think they could go tackle. Like they they could. I mean, their O line needs to get addressed too. Yeah, but who's available, right? Charles, like they, they, uh, they, Cross. Cross. Yeah. Okay. That wouldn't be bad. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I think I, I do just kind of subscribe to the fact that they're taking a quarterback. So and I, I think it would I be Howell. Too. Yeah. I think it'd be Howell because he's, you know, I think it's Howell. North Carolina. I think it's Pickett. And... I think they like Pickett. Okay, let's do a vote. Let's do a chat vote. Right now, comment Sam Howell or Kenny Pickett, and whichever one yes. collectively we'll go with. We'll Pickett. let the chat. Stick it, pick with it pick or stick, stick it. it to pick it. Oh. Stick, stick it to pick it, it, baby. With pick it, pick it I to don't. the limit. Stick it to the pick I it. I wish Desmond just changed his last name by one letter and dressed up as the Riddler every single Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the majority would, pickets here. Do for his game, but I would just want to see. I'm it. getting pick it. I'm Get in the pick it. line, everybody. It's time to. There is some howl, but I think it's majority pick it. Yep. Yeah, it's pick Owl it. at the moon. I'm just saying, I could do this all day. All right, so now you Dueling get piano bar. Huh? Welcome to the wordplay mock draft. Actually, no, that's Let's what it should be. They should uh, just do a dueling piano, and the one who wins gets drafted by the Panthers. I like that. Boom. Your dream scenario is right you here. Adam. Yep, this is dueling dueling your dream. Piano. All right, so your, your dream, dream is here. You so realize your dream. You get Sky more. <laughs> Imagine if this happens and you don't take Kayvon Thibodeau. How mad would you be? Scale of ten, how mad? I, I hope, Very. I hope so, dude. It would be, it would be brilliant. He it has done nothing but flip out over the past three years over Giants picks, and I want that tradition to continue. Okay, I just okay, want to so enjoy we lock in, lock in, Thibodeau, lock it's in Thibodeau. Thibodeau. If if Thibodeau is available at seven, that means that we have had a fantastic draft. You and saw I'll be I sad, saw and I'll be really I... sad because. Then five points will be happy, and I I'll might, just, and no yeah. one, and no one will watch our stream because that's if, all if, people watch it for is for five points to flip I out on how fast the that had Kayvon falling to twenty. What the heck? I don't think he falls that far. I think he goes in the. The top. thing is, are, okay, so if we get Iquanu and Thibodeau, I will shotgun a twisted T right on and during the draft. <laughs> show. I'll just right to the <laughs> face because that's what real men do. Twisted T. All right, well, is we got Atlanta replacing Matt Ryan. 
Are they replacing Matt Ryan right no. here? No, I don't think so. They're waiting for the, so. the Falcons yeah, do Mariota. very well is draft wide receivers. Yes. And they've got their yeah. choice of wide receiver right here sitting at eight. Personally, yeah. if I had the first pick for wide receiver, I'm going Garrett Wilson. I second that. I would say Jameson Williams. Jameson Garrett Williams pretty good all too. day. Didn't oh, Jameson God. Williams? One of them's like coming people, off a major. Jameson injury. Williams has yeah. 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 potential, but yeah. But he has the big play. He's like the Julio Jones yeah, right. type. That's where I think I see like they're like, all right, let's repeat Julio Jones with Jamison Williams. Have you guys Jameson been Jamison Williams is six one? He's no. Julio. Have you guys been seeing George Pickens coming up people's boards? Have you guys Pickens been seeing? He's gonna that? go up. Yeah, I think Pickens because Drake London now like there's a weird ankle thing. Like he's people are worried about his speed and people are worried about his separation. I mean, like that's. That's, that's what Gosh, if, you, if you're drafting at eight, you got to take the safest player. You, I agree. Like somebody else besides Williams would be the better. Wilson player. could be the guy. Olave, they could if they really loved him. But like, I think it's Wilson. Do you think they definitely go wide receiver? They definitely need it. But I think they. I mean, they're. It's a big need. They're good at drafting it. It just feels like what they're gonna do. I think Ooh, this Garrett could be our. First I think Garrett Wilson. Take my pick is for Garrett Wilson at Garrett eight. the Parrot. Fly yes, I'll, I'll agree. As a I will concur. I guess All I'm right. being outnumbered. It's Garrett yep. Wilson then. Yeah, not numbered. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can't go wrong with either guy. But boom, I just think Garrett the first, the first off. Ooh, what does Seahawks Seattle do? Seabirds. Seahawks need pretty much everything right now. <laughs> I think they're probably in this board. Probably Stingley. Stingley would be good. Cross could be an option for them. Oh, but think, I mean, they do need Dwayne Brown replacements. So big picture. Do you think Dude, someone honestly, a cornerback, top 10 cornerback, top 10? I think if this is the way the board falls, they might go Trayvon Walker here. I mean, they, they I mean, that smells like Pete Carroll all over it. Yeah, no, Pete Carroll's always Seattle. the type. Seattle things usually trade down and pick like a really odd pick in the mid twenties. Correct. That's yes, the they, they they pick very weird people. But I'm saying like Walker, I think is probably arguably the best athlete that's left up there. They want to have a good defense again. They want to get after the quarterback. You know what? They, there has to be someone who goes up like this every draft. There's one player that ends up rising way way higher than people thought. Or Malik going. Willis and Kenny Pickett. So yeah, but answers. listen, they've had major problems on the offensive line. I mean, that's what cost them Russell Wilson. Basically, he was like, "Y'all are not." I'm just saying, like, why wouldn't they take Charles Cross? Unless there's somebody yeah. there that's that's just so good that that they don't need Charles Cross. I'm just I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna throw in my hat for him. At I, I, would like I could see nine. that. I could see that. You know, give give Gino some help. Give Gino some help. <laughs> if he needs some help. Or Drew, yeah, gotta keep Gino upright. For sure. I just don't, yeah, no way Pete Carroll's taking offensive line. Yeah, that he doesn't. Idiot do hasn't done way. it for 10 years with Russell yep. Wilson. I know now I kind of the lines to do it without Russell Wilson. Yeah, just you're right. like, hey, screw you're you, right. Russell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if he's not going cross, we're going to put Walker in. I like Walker. I that do does like feel Walker. like a Pete Carroll pick. That is a me. total. He's Let's like, oh, who's the biggest freak athlete? Because we got DK Metcalf. We, yeah. And now yeah. we got uh, Trayvon Walker. Let's lock I just it want in. to watch them. Like Pete Carroll wants to take his shirt off around them so he can feel inadequate. <laughs> to uh, me, this seems like Chris Olave right here. With I think they're going to probably get Debo Samuel. So I, <laughs> but yeah, if they don't get him, then I think you're. I think they might go Williams here. Yeah. I could definitely see them going for like the speedster and get Williams. Yeah, yeah they got to wait on him, but I mean, see, I think Williams. Williams I can see Hamilton because they lost Marcus May. The um, smart. Oh, go ahead. No, you're good, man. The smart thing would be to take Stingley, honestly. Like, uh, well, that's... they already have Sauce Gardner, though. Oh, they did take Sauce. Yeah, I can't see the. Okay, never mind. Then they would take a wide receiver. My bad. My bad. Williams, give him Jameson yeah. Williams. Yes, yes. Well, that's a jet thing. Drake London obviously is up there, but we could yeah. give him any any of the receivers. It would work. We need so Zach let's... Wilson weapons. We need Evan to get him Williams weaponry. and Jameson. That oh, is a hard eight, eight, five. What, what, are, what do you think the commanders are going to do? I think there's another team that probably might go wide receiver. Uh, it, it depends what happens with McLaurin. If they yeah. trade him, he's probably gone. But even if they um, don't, like, if, think about like, if they don't. Who else is there? 
while they might reach on a quarterback, but otherwise I would probably say hmm, – I'd say corner. Maybe Yeah, they would have to do the dumbest thing possible here. Yeah, like Devin Lloyd? Mm-hmm. They would have to do the dumbest thing. They like they take George Karloftis or something, you know, like something they don't need. What are the commanders? They never do? when other than Chase Young, which was a layup. Like when have they taken a pick where you're just like that was very smart? That's, That's true. They one. don't do smart picks. Montez no, Sweat wasn't probably. too bad. You know I, what? They, I would say they'd go Stingley here. Looking they at should. the board, that would make the most sense. So they would not do that. So they should. Yeah. Well, I mean, all right. Let's. I, I'll. We can put I'll him in though. Stingley too. We can put him in Stingley. Stingley. Looking at this board, maybe they have some reason. Someone says, "Let's put in Stingley." Give him Stingley. Okay. Give yeah. it. Why not? Give they it got a good him. corner. Tom, who do the Vikings want? I mean, here they're either going to get McDuffie or Hamilton, but I think here they might go Hamilton. They need secondary help. They do need corner help a lot. I mean, Hamilton. They could probably line up in a couple different ways, yeah. but. Easier they replacement had, for Harrison Smith. They had, yeah. they, so they probably go Hamilton. Some mocks, some mocks had Hamilton dropping all the way to the Cowboys. Uh, hmm. so that's interesting. I'll go with Hamilton, though, because there's not that many safeties available in the first round. So if yeah. you want one, you're going, you might have to pay a premium. So if they I want like how we're here, Oh, by the way, I like how we're ignoring all, ignoring all the needs that are in front of us. And we're just Whatever. like, yeah, let's – Think about BPA, how dumb this BPA, is. BPA, BPA. Yes. That's it. Times you want value, man. Give him Hamilton. I'll always fix out the issue. Give him Hamilton. Okay. Alexander Hamilton. Have Here you they... seen Hamilton? I have. No. Oh. I hear yes, there's so a lot of If you guys of are just joining, if you're just joining, we're doing a mock draft for the draft next week. Chat is helping us. Let us know your input. We're trying to make these as realistic as possible. Last week we did one unrealistic this one we're trying to see i don't chat saying cross right i mean no because they got evan no, neal they already our, have yeah, yeah they, they already, already have evan neal Laramie Tunsil. Tunsil. unless they're just going bdp yeah you know, if you're making... going lineman you're probably going linderbaum but yeah, i think gosh. like they might go elsewhere they're probably going yeah McDuffie, they need inside now Palacios. because they still have um oh my god Laramie Tunsil. thank you yes so then they just completely revamp their offensive line. They don't address the defense. No, I don't think they, they don't go across here. No, they don't I, take Karloftis. No. Oh, I say Karloftis, McDuffie, or Lloyd, or Linderbaum. Those would be Linderbaum. Linderbaum is going to be a nice pick for somebody. I'm yeah. calling it now. Let's the give him Karloftis. They get they could what, go McDuffie too. They're all their defense. Every, literally everything could they be. They could take yeah, literally much. any they player that you everybody that you can see right now. But I'm with Karloftis. I'm with Perna. Do it. He All just right. looks like a Texan. Yeah, yeah. He does. Yeah. Yeah, I think very agreeable. McDuffie. McDuffie. It's definitely McDuffie. McDuffie. That seems like a real Ravens pick. Yes. Yeah. Does he have Somebody any previous law? trouble with the law? No, or does he have injuries? I don't know. I, I mean, he could always build up to it. There's always the potential. Did the law injure him? <laughs> Well, if you're depending on Ty Law, then that answer is yes. Baltimore. Yeah, give McDuffie. him McDuffie. Oh, Eggles, probably Devin Lloyd here. Devin oh, Lloyd. Back. Listen, um, can you go to cornerbacks real quick? Can I see the, the big board for the corners? Yep. Because I'm thinking this might this might be Kair Elam. Something is telling me this could be a Kair Elam pick. <laughs> Right here, here just comes based the off, Florida bias. Just based on look Ky, on this board, to me, Kair Elam is underrated. On this board, I think he will go higher than they have him positioned here. Personally. Scooter, is, is TJ Slayton gonna be really good for the Packers? I I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm I can't. seeing a lot of Lloyd in Florida in last year. I can't let you. Yeah, know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I haven't. They looked, take the best linebacker play. here off the board. Play. That'd be Lloyd then, or Nakobe Dean. Yeah, that's crazy because, because yeah, I I did see articles where these guys were falling. So if they're if they're needing a linebacker, it's Lloyd or Dean. All right, let's we go. Like Lloyd. Lloyd, Lloyd. I like Lloyd. Yep, Devin Lloyd. By the buoy. See now, this is easy. So, if yeah, a tackle this is, falls this far, like oh, Charles, this is cross is hundred percent. 
Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. They need a Teron yeah, Armstead yeah. replacement. They need someone to uh, protect Taysom Hill. <laughs> He's tied in now. No, 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 no. They'll 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 use him somewhere. All right, that's easy. Ooh, Chargers. Ooh, what do the Chargers do? Is this Chris Olave right here? It could, no. it could be Drake London. I, I think be. it may be. You might be looking at interior line helps. You're probably looking Wyatt or Jordan Davis. Ooh. Are they taking Drizzy? Is that Drake? Is that <laughs> yeah. Drake London? Drizzy? Drizzy. Drake London. Well, I mean, you already have Mike Williams. You're paying him the big bucks. Mm -hmm. And you also have uh, Keenan Allen. So I don't know if Drake London's really your pick. They did yeah. say now, they are saying that this draft has a lot of good receivers. But if you want a receiver, you're going to have to get him in the first round. The talent well, a second round, I feel like you can get some prime talent. So. There's definitely, they're going to go early in the second round. But yeah. Like, because think about it, even the Chiefs, I mean, like, they have back to back picks. The Lions at the end of the like first round, they could go wide receiver as well. There's so many guys. I think this is receiver team. here. I think this starts the run on receivers. Yeah, I, I would feel say like Drizzle, Olave man. is like a speed piece that the Chargers kind of don't have. I think their biggest need is right tackle. Uh, but like, if they if they see Charles Tr uh, Cross go right before, then. I kind of like I because I don't like it. Uh, Chris Olave. I say Chris Olave. I say oh, I say Wyatt or Davis. I say Wyatt or Davis. So I'm probably getting overruled. Mm -hmm. Tom, Thank who's you. your vote for? Yeah, go Olave. Okay, Chris Olave. It is. I honestly think the Eagles are going to get Kyer Elam here. See here, mm, I think they actually. Uh, here's my yeah, yeah, if well, London, you're sitting there. They, you have they an have agent. No faith. <laughs> they have Actually, no faith. Here's whatsoever. my argument for the Eagles. They have an aging interior offensive line. Brandon Brooks just retired. You don't know who you're getting. I think this is where Tyler Linderbaum goes. Mm. I, I would not want to see that as a uh, Giants fan. I do and not. And then once Kelsey see retires next smart. year, you move Linderbaum to center. Didn't it's they fun. take a wide receiver last year? They traded up for yep, uh, Devontae Smith. Smith. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. They so they've got they've taken Jalen Rigor, Devonte. Uh, do you think they go another good. receiver? I I uh, think they try to stick with Rager. Even I though everyone talk, okay. Hates so him. I might. I'm, I'm just gonna input this. So talking to Brett Coleman today, he said, "Don't be surprised if you see a lot of wide receivers go in the first just because of how lucrative the contracts are starting to get, because in a few years, they're going to be paid $40 million. And mm. so teams are going to invest now and get an additional year with the fifth-year option just so they can prolong it a little bit longer. Give them Drake London. Give them Drake London. Okay. Wow. They, 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 so the Eagles are just taking wide receivers every year. That's, that's yes. what they're doing? Okay. don't agree with that. I mean, Jalen Rieger, I don't, I don't, I, I, how can you watch him and be like, yeah, I trust him now? They and love I, drafting receivers that cannot catch. Nelson Aguilar. <laughs> Jalen unlike Rager. Aguilar. Like, unlike Aguilar. I think if London falls this far, he's gone. Okay. London Take him off the board. Play. All right. First dumb pick of the draft. I gave it to them. First Ooh. dummy. Saints got their tackle. They need a wide receiver. Receiver. This is where the run well, starts. You're probably looking yeah. at um, Sky Moore. Sky Honestly, Moore. I don't think Sky Moore is going this high. Really? I don't, no. I don't think he's going this high. I think, yeah. honestly, this could be Pickens. Pickens. This could be Pickens. Uh, could be Pickens. Pickens. They could decide to go Traylon Burks if they really wanted to. Um, they might do Six They might three. do Burks just because he's not coming off the, the injury like Pickens is. Yeah. Either that or they reach for a quarterback here. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, but I don't know if they really want to. I think yeah, if, but they have two first round picks. If you didn't, if you don't take a quarterback first, why would you? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it, and they traded with the Eagles to have these two picks, so I feel mm -hmm. like the Saints definitely have a plan with what they're doing in this draft. I just don't know what that plan is. Like, <laughs> I did a video today thinking they would maybe package these two firsts to try and move up to if, get a tackle, to get a quarterback if they're really high on one. Um, yeah. it could be tackled, my bet too, is but... probably somebody moves up to pick like a Jordan Davis or something. That would be my bet as to what happens. I think it's one of these three 
wide receiver Sky Moore, George Pickens, or Traylon Burks? I think they go Burks, if anything, then, because I, I think like he could be much. like that Debo Samuel kind of guy for and, the and Saints. Let's put in Burks, and they we know they like multi-talented players. Let's lock in Traylon Burks. All right. I, 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 can, I can mess with that. We good? Oh, yeah. Trees, trees, time to, to shine. Trees, oh, no. time to shine. Look, Linder at this Bombs point, City I'm jumping for mad. joy because it's either Linderbaum or Jordan Davis. We need interior line help. Our running game was absolute garbage. I'm going with Jordan Davis, and I am just straight up sprinting to the podium to make sure I get Jordan Davis. We'll over go with a, Tyler, Tyler over Linderbaum. Over a lineman? An offense? Yeah, but uh, dude, yeah. do you know how bad our run defense was last year? We had no interior line. Wow. Let's lock it in. All Let's right. lock it in. I'm with Jordan you, Trey. Najee Harris just trying to run. <laughs> He's just like, I can't yeah. do it anymore. Well, as I said, they, they did get some help, but at the same time, it's like if it's between Linderbaum or Jordan Davis, I'm going with Jordan Davis. So this, we're gonna we're gonna speed the picks up here a little bit. Just this so we could can be a sky more pick. He's a slot guy. You know, he has like yeah. I think he he could be because the Patriots need a freaking wide receiver. They just yeah. got Parker, but this is where this is where the receivers go. So I say let's lock in Sky Moore here. And then are you guys picking a receiver, Tom? What are we thinking? If Linderbaum's sitting here, you See, picking a receiver? Hold on one sec. I I'm thinking Patriots might be taking a corner here. Uh they mm. they they lose JC Jackson. Um Gilmore was gone the year before. Yes, they do need a receiver, but they kind of invested in that in free agency last round let's just look who's the best corner here you got booth, booth and you got your oh. guy elam no no, so, no put elam for this one there is a direct florida to patriots pipeline for whatever reason brandon spikes played over there um there's i can name three or four other players if i just hernandez. sit down and think about it mm -hmm. kair yeah, some elam guy Aaron hernandez will yeah. be this pick i promise for some reason there's this link between both of us, Kyir Elam, if they need a corner. Hold on, let's put some let's put some skin in this game. Okay, if, what if Kyir Elam doesn't go at pick twenty one? <laughs> Are you going to do something here? If uh, he goes, if he goes, I will attach a plunger to some somewhere on my body. Just, okay, I'm not I'm not trying to make any stakes. I just know um, there's no <laughs> no side bets. No, no side, side bets. bets. I just big board okay. Perna. No side bet, but I do think there there is. I, th there is I do a feel pipeline. though, whoever the Patriots take at twenty one will probably be a five, you know, a stud. Probably. I'm you know, guessing they, they probably Nicobe Dean. Yeah, probably Nicobe Dean. That would Dean's be interesting. Too. Dean or Booth. Who, well, I just feel like whoever they right pick, now. they just don't mess up, and everyone's like, "Why didn't we pick him?" And they just uh. feel dumb because the Patriots scouting Maybe they go never booth. misses. Uh, it's Dean or Booth. Nikhil Harry. Either one. Is he available again? <laughs> so then let's do Booth then. Even though I'm telling you, if it were between cornerback, they would pick Kyrie Elam. Give him Booth. Give him, give him booth. booth. But I'm just letting you know, in the real world, there's something well, there. Booth, be the end of Belichick. Well, that's why you're, uh, Mike, that's why you're picking Jordan Davis. You're picking him to stop the run. It's not for pass rush. Okay, I'm going to reach and I don't care. Give me chickens. <laughs> Wow. Jimmy Pickens. Mm. I Whoa. absolutely love it. And he's coming off an injury, but the guy still ran like a sub four five. Yeah. Give me Pickens like is such a fighter and it just beats the crap out of people. I'm all about it. Right. And I, that pleases yeah. your boy, Aaron. And he's just like, mm -hmm. it's really whoever Aaron wants. Right. At this, this if point. it plays out like this, the Cowboys will be sitting pretty because now we can pick whoever we want. And these are some mm -hmm. very you good people. Pick, uh, people. Elam. Mm -hmm. That's who we do. might honestly hey remember guys the cardinals are not picking a center remember perna they're not picking a center <laughs> yeah, you're to probably going um zion again, johnson we, zion we, johnson we had we on gps like what was that a week ago we did one of the mock drafts and we said that i think we got like linderbaum or something or raymond whatever and one of the, one of the cardinals fans like had a super chat and was like we already have a really good center he's just yeah injured. he's also 30 334 and Rodney that's Hudson. how we justified it but yeah no. yeah yeah the giants have nick gates so i mean he should be fine we don't need all Steelers had uh marquise pouncey a year ago mm -hmm. 
Who is I would love it if the Cardinals took a quarterback <laughs> as yeah. just a big <laughs> Kyler pack your stuff up and get out out of here. Mm. We are done with you. That would be a reach. Why wouldn't they take um what's his name? The center at this point. Because they have Ron Watson on the oh, roster still. So. But he's injured. He oh, Slenderbaum or Tyler Johnson. Or Zion Johnson, sorry. Yeah, it's, so, it's confusing me. That's why I said Tyler Johnson. What do they do? What do they do? Go back to the big board. I could see him doing edge after losing Chandler Jones. Um, mm. They could go Wyatt. A lot of talent Deacon's still interior. left. Kobe Dean be hasn't been picked at this point. The big thing about Wyatt yeah. is he's just I old. hope it plays out just like this, to be honest, because the Cowboys Maybe will have their won't. pick. It really won't. won't. Be like, I think the there's going to be at least two gonna trades. Trade. There's going to be That's multiple yeah. trades. Mess this all up. Oh, there's going to be at least five or six trades. Here, I, oh, I no. think I, if I'm the Cardinals, yeah. I go Wyatt. Get that interior defensive line help. Okay. The only knock on Wyatt is he's 24. Like, and and he does have some off the field issues too. But let's go Wyatt. Okay, I'm telling y'all right now. If it plays out like this, we're taking Linderbaum. Okay, we're getting help on the O line. However, really. However, yeah. it well, could you just need a guard easily, for Connor Williams. So it, it could just as easily be Nicobe Dean. Okay. Mm. Um, and just as easily it could be Zion Johnson if mm. these are or the players Bernard available. And well. just as easily, if all these players available, I anticipate us trading back and then selecting someone like a Kyir Elam. Uh, a cornerback to help us out. Honestly, although pure Cowboys, that sounds like logical, but your pick would actually probably be a Sky Moore just because it's the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would. It would. Jerry, no. who do you want to go? I want to go to the Sky. So no, if I, you do pick a receiver, it would be Traylon Burks because Jerry, Jerry Jones, Jones, Arkansas. Jones, yeah. I could just see it happening just Traylon like Burks, that. Because again, after and, getting and, destroyed and if by Traylon Bingo, Burks is gone, I don't think we do go receiver uh, here. I think if we go receiver, we'll be that guy from Arkansas because Jerry likes the Arkansas guys. We can see that in his picks in the past. But if this, if it plays out like this, I would go Linderbaum. I would say, and I would be happy with it. I tell all the Cowboys fans, sit down. Who's Remember your, when we drafted Travis now? Frederick? Tyler uh, Biotis. Oh. Um, so, so you're replacing Tyler's? Yeah, get a better Tyler. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Tyler Perry. So I, don't Tyler, get Tyler. I can get a better one. I would go Tyler. Tyler Linderbaum, center. I it just makes done. too much sense. It is done. I don't Buffalo. Know. Buffalo going to get some weapons. Sky Moore, Sky, is Moore. Sky Moore is a slot guy replacing Cole Beasley. Yes, Cole Beasley. I don't think so that's their Beasley. biggest need. I don't think wide receiver is their biggest need. I actually disagree with PFF on this, but I mean, yeah. they have to develop their run game more. They started to at the end of the year, but. Because you don't ever disagree with PFF, right, Tom? Never. Ever. Never. Mm -hmm. You and Florio, best friends. God, what a freaking tool. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they take Sky Moore here. I think yeah, that they oh, here think... you go. Bill's fan, they're saying CB. Mm? Yeah. Ooh, I think yeah. that they think in their mind that they are just one or two pieces away. Yep. I think they and go running back. I think they need a one or desperate, desperate Who need. Think running the... back or corner. If they need a cornerback, Kyer Elam is the best. Ooh, I say they go. Oh man, it's Roger McCreary. People are are high on as well. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna reach yeah. on a running back. I can really see it because once again, they all their attempts to get a running back in free agency have failed. They tried J.D. McKissick. He didn't work out. He backed out. Went back to Washington. So you might be looking at Brees Hall or Kenneth Walker. Skywalker, huh? Mm. Brees. Mm. I like Brees. Grease with Brees. He's Grease with Brees. So what about Damian a... Pierce, Scooter? What do you Damian's know about him? Good. Damian's good. I don't think he goes in the first round, though. I think he goes in the second. I don't even know yeah. if we see any running backs in the first round, to I be honest. I think so. Honestly, I think if there's I any team that does it, it would be the Bills. Yes. But if they do it, wouldn't they trade down to do it? Yeah. They could. I mean, again, they could go corner here. Like, I think corner or running back makes the most sense for them see, here. But the... The the Bills have the fifty seventh overall pick, and any one of these guys, I think all of these guys might be available at fifty seven. Who knows? So I Kyer see Elam corner will then. not be available. Like if they need corner, they need to get Kyer Elam because this is a top fifteen talent that they're getting at twenty five. 
I like right, Kyrie Elam. If Elam, I were Elam, drafting Elam, for the Elam. Bills, I would take a corner. Um, yeah. Because even if they can't, like, say they don't get the running back they want in the second round, there's still free agent running backs they could bring in. Like, Melvin Gordon is a guy who is not going to cost a lot. He's still going to be available. It's like, if you don't get your guy in the draft here, there's probably a free agent you could get cheap. So I say corner. But I I know what Tree's saying because I think the Bills wouldn't be shy to take a running back in the first. I don't mm-hmm. think they're – yeah, I'd say go Elam here. Get make, right. make, Yeah, make. I'd say Elam or Zion. Okay. There you go. We gave him Elam. We got the Titans on the clock. Zion I think Johnson? they go uh, – well, I think they might go Jermaine Johnson. Uh, Jermaine Johnson. Yeah, sure. If he's still sitting there, they just say, screw it. Let's just make our D-line godly. Yep. Is there a Tito? Because he's Johnson. the guy who's been jumping up boards. Yep. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All give him Jermaine. This is wild because, like – in this draft, no quarterbacks. Like the yeah. quarterbacks are not flying. Like, I don't think they're going to. Well, it's, it's not this a strong, not a quarterback. Draft. Like it'll, yeah. they'll do it next year. That's when the quarterback. But I mean, like Johnson, or they could bring up the quarterbacks like, real quick. Rounds. Bring up the it quarterbacks like that. Zion Johnson, uh, Corral, Zion Carson Johnson. Strong is left. Um, Ritter's Sky still Thompson. available. Yeah, I don't know if we get to pick twenty-seven. And all four of these quarterbacks are still on the board. Like this. I think so. These guys are not like no one's talking about these guys like they're the second coming. Like, I'm not saying just... that, but we don't think another one of these quarterbacks is going to go off before 27. So. No, don't worry. The Packers will take one at 28, Scooter. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Hey, That's true. Tom, true. have you ever heard that one before? I've never heard it, guys. Getting a quarterback. Uh, Zion Johnson, guard. Seems yeah. Like, yeah. Give it to him. Bucks. Yeah. Give it to him. If if right. Tom Brady's coming back, he's gonna want somebody you know yeah. in front of him. Y'all like okay, Sky Moore? Oh God! All right. In this case, another if the wide board receiver. falls just like this. I want either Nicobe Dean or Lewis Seen. You need him. You need Nicobe Dean. I would take Nicobe Dean in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Give him Dean. Yeah, shall have Nick- well, I would all the way to 28 in the world. Wait, can you draft? bring up the safeties real quick? We have no safeties going in the first round so far. We had Kyle Hamilton. Okay. Oh, yeah. Where did he go? Oh, yeah. 12 yeah. to the Vikings. Okay. okay. To the Vikings. Oh, my God. If that literally happened, I'd be so happy. I'd be Nicole so happy. Dean. That, that would be wild if Dean fell all the way to 28. I'd be so happy. You they need probably a wide looking, Well, you're probably looking. Actually, wait. They signed Justin Reed. Sky Moore could work. Um, they could go Murray. Christian Watson. I think Watson has a good chance to go in the first. Possibly, he's rising up some boards. He's uh, great. Uh, the Chiefs do need a wide receiver, don't they? Didn't they, they could just, use yeah. Edge too. Mm-hmm. I mean, they just got rid of would, some guy would named Sky Hill. Moore. Be a direct fill in for Tyreek. I mean, wouldn't they want a player like that? Again, like Sky a... Moore is going to be more of a a slot guy. I, I think. I think if you're going for, I think you take a shot on Christian Watson. I mean, like again, the competition that he was going against is not phenomenal, but like he I, again, people look at his drops and so I literally just talked to Coleman about this. I think there's a good chance he goes at the at the end of the first. That seems to be the formula lately mm-hmm. for wide receivers. If they dropped a lot in college, they catch everything in the pros. Look at uh, Jamar Chase. So, well, that was preseason, but yeah, that was just preseason. Yeah. He caught a lot of people everybody. were saying Dotson. Dotson's he's just smaller, but I mean, mm-hmm. Dotson could be. He's fast. Dotson, I think, falls to early second. So who are, we, who are we thinking? No. I don't know. Give him a wide receiver, just whoever's the best. Sky Moore. Um, who were you saying you thought? I said Christian Watson. Let's go with that. Watson. Let's go with Watson. They got two picks in a row. They can do whatever right here. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. they're like at the end of the snake draft in fantasy. They're just like, mm-hmm. and then right, let's I'm see gonna... who's best available for CB. their needs. Give him a CB, edge rusher. I think that's I think what you're looking at there. Yeah. I feel like they would I they might. They might take oh, defense yeah. with both those picks. Um, yeah. uh, I'm seeing a lot of Mafia. I'm seeing a lot of Ebiketti. Yeah, yeah, um, Ebiketti. This is this is where I could see him. Oh, Jebo, maybe if they want to take a chance. Yeah. Pittsburgh Penguin Nick Benito. Bonito, Benito, 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 Nick. They got Bonito. 
Oh, hey, this, this goes to Cincy. Yeah. They are going Bengals. straight Tyler Linderbaum. They are going Linderbaum all day. Oh, Linderbaum's Buddy's at the Cowboys. Out. Never mind. No. Gone. no. All right. Well, if they're going this right, then I'm trying to think. Maybe Travis. No, not they, Travis Jones. Gosh, don't you? Do you see Cincy like trading up for offensive line? Because that's probably that's what I they mean, have to do, right? They I mean, cannot they, let they Joe Burrow get free agents. They got Lyle Collins. Free agents, free agents, they got yeah, Lyle Collins from us. Yeah, I think that they kind of addressed it. I Actually, don't think that there's okay. a drastic need. I'm trying to think. Maybe uh, Trevor Penning would he be it? I could see them going CB. Um, yeah. Like Penning's a big boy, he's raw, but maybe a safety. Um, Do they need a safety? Uh, I guess if they don't. Like... If they plan on not signing Jesse Bates, so maybe they go. Um, what's the name? Jaquan Brisker. What? Safety. I think. I think every like fifth pick, someone, some of us should throw out a made-up player and see if anyone can detect it. <laughs> like, <laughs> they should go with sequester gun to plant oh yeah i loved him coming out of college yeah so give him lewis c he's a doctor Just lewis best available. Yeah, corner i feel yeah, like we can bring him best available safety give it to him. Just give it to him that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying david go cb yeah 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 happen. they need depth at cornerback that's all i'm saying someone might you know Someone might pull a uh, Nancy Kerrigan on Eli Apple and just be like, you got to start uh, Daxton Hill next week. You want to give uh, him Daxton? Daxton or Jalen? I don't One think they go tight end this early. I they mean, do need you know, to they, they lost Uzoma, but they they're got not, Hayden Hurst. But they're not going to go first round for a tight end? Yeah. No. no, no not Kyle Pitts. Wait. There's Smoke no Kyle Monday, Pitts. anybody? You don't think no, so? That's, that's, that's an Oakland Raider pick. Yeah, that is an Oakland Raider Just give him Jalen and then let's Go to the go to the lines, and finish this first round. <laughs> and mock. finish this disgustingly It's going to be so bad, bad and everyone's pissed at us for the Titans pick. But whatever. I think they should go with Desquarius Williams here. They no. the, here they might go Sky Moore just because they need what wide they receivers pick? besides Amara St. Brown. They got Malik Willis, so they got their they might quarterback. Go Lewis, Seen. Lewis Seen would be a great pick for them. The Lions they got their quarterback. Yeah, they could do that. I like Lewis Seen. Let's do it. Ship it. Tell me, have you Lewis Seen? Ship it <laughs> immediately. Immediately send the thumbnail in the Twitter so I can post it and or get Leo roasted. Leo Chanel. Leo Chanel. Leo, Leo Chanel wouldn't be bad. Chanel number five. Does this, does this give you a picture at the end? Chanel or Seen? I think us. Seen. Here they they potentially seen. go Seen. Because okay. I think the Lions have another pick coming up too, so they could they probably do. take Chanel I there. Think, what in the line in the early second, second round? The mm -hmm. Lions have the thirty fourth, so they have. Yeah, like, so they'll they'll pick Chanel there. Okay, yeah. can you do the uh, like where you make it bigger, or so we can get a full? Yes, sorry, there we go. My bad. Okay, can someone screenshot this, please? Can we get and a it's screenshot? It's gonna be like this pick sucks. This is worse than last week's trash. I would be so get your, get your screenshots right now and tag all of us. We want to hear what you think about this mock draft. Um, it's not that bad. You know what? We did a pretty good job. I like it. No trades. No trades. No this trade is what teams. it would be. No, this There's going to be so trades. many trades. There are going to be trades. Chickens There's and gonna be so Oh, my God. Trades. If I there were no so trades, for a no, mock, a no trade mock draft, I don't think this, this is, is right. as garbage. bad as A.J. Evans is saying it is. Okay? I think it's good. I think it's I want to be very clear. I didn't didn't agree with the Falcons wide receiver <laughs> thing. For, for the okay. you, I'm just, uh, you're just going to put your case They have out no receivers. Either. Why would they not take one? Because they're going to suck anyway, so they might as well just build the trenches. <laughs> that's fair. That it's like, fair honestly, point. that's like the that's Panthers. Like, that's like the, if they don't get Willis, I can see them going, well, listen, we're probably not going to have Matt Rule next year. Screw it. We'll get an offensive lineman. So whoever we plug in next year from the draft when we're picking in the top 10, boom. But that does conclude our. Is this our second? Our second, second yes. Mock I don't know how we even made it draft before. ever for clickbait wow. sports guys. We're doing it big. Okay, we're in year two now of clickbait. We're heading towards year two, guys. What will you be doing for the NFL draft next Thursday? What's going on on your channel, Tree? 
Well, me and Five have a traditional draft on the Dumpster Fire channel, so uh, we're going to hope that the Giants do terribly so we get to see some premium distilled salt that comes right out of his organs, and it's just wonderful stuff, and I hope you all join us as well. It's going to be a beautiful time, hopefully. Yes, so we will be back next Thursday for an abbreviated stream, but then uh, we will be streaming on our individual channels. Tree and Five will be streaming on the Dumpster Fire. Tom, where will you be streaming the draft after next week's abbreviated show? On this YouTube channel, which Tom is will be streaming directly to my channel, but That's it's true. his show. T Tom Grassy Comedy, and let's just say we got some tricks up our sleeves for this uh, draft stream. Just uh, okay. I might have to call oh. and uh, spam special guests. Turn up. Where where did you say you would be streaming? Uh, Tom Grassy Comedy, that YouTube, you know. What I mean? So there will be a joint Perna no. Pack Cast stream. No, 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 Tom's no. streaming to my channel, and I'm streaming to Tom's channel. Okay, okay, never mind. Oh, that, that so is, we've got a little bit of a war going on. That's what. Yeah. That's what's going on. Listen, and here's I, what happens on draft night: is everyone watches all of our streams, but you drop in when when our teams are picking. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's yeah. what it just, seems like. It's Good very incestuous. <laughs> I will <laughs> not be streaming. I will not be streaming because, and I will not be on clickbait next week because, Lord willing, I will be. At the draft, in person, so we'll see what happens at that okay. strip club, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll be at the draft. Um, Scooter, tutors. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I want to take action on this, uh, guys. Has Scooter ever been inside of a strip club? Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. I feel Absolutely like he might have been for a bachelor not. party or two, but he had to. Uh, douse no. himself with holy water. I'm gonna afterwards. say no. I'm gonna no. say that he might have been on a bachelor party and said, guys. I'll be over here at this Applebee's. Type you one, if you think I've it. been inside <laughs> the, a strip uh, club ever in my life. No type two, That's if you don't think so. You're like, I don't know. Mm. And type three, if you're just here because you want to find out the results, which will be revealed next week. When you're not here? Eight, when you're not four. here, how can you reveal the answer? You can tell oh, me. okay. You tell us after. Come back the, next week. In the green room. Find okay. out that. Look at that cliffhanger. Look at that cliffhanger. Look Anything coming out on your guys' channels? You want to promote? Who Anything? Who, who lost? Oh, I, got my punish I got my punishment on the way. I still got to dress up like Michael. Yeah, we got to do, do, do the countdown. Do the countdown. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Do it. Mm. 14, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. The Falcons are so bad they'll probably draft Sky more. The Giants, oh my god, they probably just trade their picks. And treat, well, you know. My name's Scooter and I've never been to a strip club. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, I'm boy. at $27.99. Let's go. I'm at 55, 55.65. 170, 173.86. Yeah, Tree's going to lose terribly. Yeah, I've, I've lost so this bad. big time, Burn dude. Up. It's uh, 2199. 21 oh, you buying one of those things on the telemarketing scheme? Buy two, get one free for 21.99. Here's out of order. Oh. Thirty-one ninety-nine now going up. <laughs> yep, and uh, I, I've I've easily lost. It's a four ninety-one seventy-nine. Let's go. I've, I've lost. There it is. We need your punishments, chat. Before we leave, yeah, we must yes. find out what I was due. It had been a while. A punishment. You already is... have punished me. I will be dressing up like an eagle, and I have to get two people on camera to say "Go Eagles!" Fly Eagles! Uh, fly. fly Eagles! Fly rather. Mm -hmm. What are we getting Tree to do? I need to see Tree recreate his vertical leap from last no. year. <laughs> no. And with jelly on his wall. That's what no. I need to uh, see. Uh, okay, I, I can just, actually probably just, do that in here. I'm just <laughs> saying. Need see, I need to see if your vertical leap has... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did he really drop a new album? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did he no. really? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, hey, he's dropped a, a new album. Oh, Hold on. Uh, uh, yes, a day ago, Antonio Brown released his new album. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> baby. Featuring oh, Young no. Thug, the baby, <laughs> no. Paradise. IBO Forum. Oh, no. I'm dropping and into more. the stream. Hold on. I will drop hey. into oh, the stream. Hey, it says it's it it it'll add credibility to AB's rap career. So apparently. 
It, so he's it, using it good. impact font instead of a proper font. At least put a border around it or something, man. I yeah. Think much... <laughs> instead of doing a full stream, uh, I think we just need, like, we need a musical review of the album. You know how yeah. in American Psycho, when what's that uh, guy? What's he's that doing guy? Off about like uh, we need a needle drop. Card video Huey Lewis a needle drop like video impact to society <laughs> you're critiquing this so it doesn't have to be a live stream it's just your review yes. of yes. the album in a video yeah and this will be good too because it can double for content for you as everyone you have to purchase it. the album i'll lose about 500 subs again <laughs> that'll be great do you no, you'll do it on clickbait you'll just review it and just tell us yeah, about you know, mean, which song yeah, was your true. favorite which you know, but I mean, I might. What do you think? I might release on YouTube too. So. I just, I, I just want to know something. Uh, what's more likely, Scooter going to a strip club or Antonio Brown being able to spell the word paradigm? <laughs> I just want to know which is more. I would likely. say, well, Scooter could accidentally go to a strip club, but then I will again, say um, the longest song on here is only three minutes and 19 seconds They're there you go it's only 38 long. minutes of your life yes so i say long. a book report oh, oh dude the, the a b one was bad last week. yeah i think like dear I god you guys are going to force me to stream no it. here's what i would say no 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 is this fair that tree on your own time you gotta listen to the album and then you had to come to clickbait and give us the top three songs of the album and explain why. Oh Lord, I may have a little video. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Mm -hmm. That is fair. Give us and you have to give us one legitimate way in which Antonio Brown can improve his rap career. <laughs> yep. Yes, critique him and and just say how how if this really did make him more credible in the rap game. Because but listen, guys, that's going to do it for clickbait yes. sports this week. Come back next week for the abbreviated stream. I won't be here, but you'll find out if I've been in a strip club or not. Goodbye.